Brittany and David, it's still pretty dark out here. Most people don't have power. And of course, you can see behind me, trees like this one are down across the West Hill neighborhood, leaving many people without power around here for the fourth straight day. We spoke to a couple of West Hills residents who say they just simply feel stuck. One family hasn't had Wi-Fi or power since Saturday morning. Others say their homes have crept down into the 40s. While they're bracing for the cold, they continue to wait to hear from PGE. People all around Portland told us they've rarely heard from the power company over the past few days, and they're unsure when their power may come back now, come back on. Now, PGE says they're working as quickly as they can. They have 1,600 people working around the clock to restore power, and they've brought in crews from out of state to help out too. They'll be in Portland until power is restored around the metro area, those out-of-state crews. Still, the power company has faced some challenges. First, the sheer amount of homes around Portland without electricity has been difficult to handle. Down power lines, icy roads, and trees blocking roadways has also been a con contributor to those slow repairs. And while West Hill residents we spoke with understand the difficulties, guys, they're nearing a fifth day without electricity here, and they're fed up without much hope that power will return soon. And again, with another storm coming in or this ice storm coming in within the next couple of hours, you know, um, we're expecting that we're going to have more trees down and more problems. And now you guys can see, I mean, the wind's picking up out here. We're getting that freezing rain, but look at the roads too. You can see this ice right here, and that's really slick. My shoes even moving a bit just on the slickness, but it's not just that ice. Even these roadways right here, it looks black. That's ice. We've seen a couple of cars try to come down this stop sign. They haven't been able to stop. They've just made had, had to make quick turns. And now, of course, with that freezing rain coming in, a question many are asking is, well, are there going to be future power outages? Unfortunately, PGE says you might want to make preparations for that being the case, guys. All right, Tom.